This is Axel 72 in association with Square Circle Boxing. Pleasure today to be joined by Zach Parker. Zach, victorious, hard fought, well earned. How are we feeling, mate? Yeah, I felt all right. Felt a bit drained in there. They told me I was going to be out at um, 8 o'clock and it's like gone off now, so I think I warmed up for a bit too long. But uh, yeah, it was a good it was a good win anyway. He's a former world champion. We didn't know what he had left because he'd been out of the ring for so long. And he showed him that he's got a lot left, but maybe maybe the next move, maybe go up to like heavy. I felt a bit drained, so we'll see what happens. And I suppose, do you feel like maybe that made you, your, like you say, a little bit drained, the power sapping out your punches a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I felt, like I said, I think I warmed up too long. I was warmed up for four hours. They told me, it says on all the things I'm going to be out at eight. I told us I'm going to be out at eight. It's like half nine. I've been warming up for like three or four hours. Um, I started sitting down before, like five minutes before I come out. Cause, you know what I mean? Legs are heavy, so yeah. But it is what it is. I've got the win against a former champion there. It's good. Of course. And, you know, you'd have faced the adversity of a knockdown. And you managed to come back from it very well. And is that, you know, credit to you? And I suppose what was your coach saying in the corner when that's happening? Yeah, I don't think it was much of a knockdown. It's like he was swinging and that hit me around the back of the head. I didn't really touch down, like go down. It was just my gloves went down and fell because he's pulling me down as well. So pulling me down all night, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, like I say, it was a bit of an awkward opponent. Uh, but yeah, it was a good win in the end. And now it's seemingly like you have made this comeback from the from the jump rider fight, and you are now a fighter who is back in the top level contention. And so, are we looking at other big fights around the scene? Yeah, obviously, a lot of big fights. I had, like of super middle, but maybe the move up could do me could do me good. A lot of uh, British fighters at, uh, like every so you just have to wait and see. Of course, and like I mentioned, John Ryder, one of your recent opponents, he's just recently retired. And do you, I suppose, you know, wish him all the best? And do you feel like possibly it might have been a good time for him to retire? Yeah, he's, he's um, had a lot of good fights, hasn't he? Yes. He's had a lot of good fights out there. Uh, made a lot of money, uh, obviously, going over to American Hats, so fair play to him. I uh, hope, hope he feels well in retirement and uh, spends a bit of time with his family. And like John Ryder, you know, he's had a lot of fights in America and he's fought some tough guys but he's come in on as the away fighter would you ever be willing to you know if an opportunity arises like that to come in as an away fighter like that 100% um, I've always said I want to go box broad in America from it if the opportunity arises I'll take it both hands but I'm with, I'm with the best team I just want to say thank you uh, obviously to my team BCB Neil Marsh they do a lot behind the closed doors they do and obviously Queensbury and Frank Warren they showed me a lot of love and uh, and that uh, obviously got the win for him, but yeah, really, really, um, really happy with him. Of course, and do you feel like the future is bright for you in your career now? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And when you see fighters who are in 50-50 fights, like, the, like a lot of these ones on this card, they lose sometimes, but what advice would you give to them in the way of, you know, rebuilding and coming back? What would you say? Fighters sometimes in 50-50 fights, they... they <laughs> they sometimes uh, suffer defeats and it can come as a bit of a shock sometimes but what advice would you give to some fighters to rebuild yeah it's just uh, keep going in life it's like anything in life you just uh, got to put one step in front of the other uh, it's no, never you never need to keep don't keep your head down just keep it up and uh, keep moving forward and one final question which I'm trying to ask a lot of fighters at the moment of course other than winning in boxing and winning is the greatest part but what else is your favourite part of the sport uh, definitely not making weight. <laughs> That's it. I'm just it's a good sport. Obviously, it helps a lot of uh, troubled children uh, get out of horrible places. Like you see, it's most most boxers they ain't got nothing at first, and uh, it makes their be life better. So yeah, it's a good thing. Of course, Zach. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, mate.